Can you explain shares and what they might be worth in three years? Sure, shares is really easy. I'll assume you understand Bitcoin mining. So every 10 minutes, something like 6.25 Bitcoin is issued as a block reward. Six, yeah, 6.25. And that 6.25 Bitcoin is given to miners. Okay, but which miners? It's kind of random which miners. But if you have more hash rate, you get more. If you have less hash rate, you get left, less of the total. So if you are 100% of the hash rate, you get 100% of the block rewards. If you're 50% of the hash rate, you get 50% of the block rewards. That's what the term shares means. It's how you divide up a thing. It's just division. That's all it is. So a company is owned by its shareholders, and Bitcoin inflation is rewarded to miners by the amount that they hash. And in Hex, all of the profit to the staker class, which is the 3.69% maximum inflation, plus early end stake penalty, they get half of that, and emergency, well, emergency end stake is the early end stake. Late end stake penalty, they get half of that as well. So you've got inflation, late end stake, emergency end stake, and big payday. And that's it. That's all there is. Those are the four profit inputs to the staker class. And the big payday input only happens on November 19th to stakes that are open that day. So in general, you have three inputs of profit to the staker class. Inflation, late end stake, and, emer and early emergency end stake. And how do you divide up those profits? By shares. And how do you get shares? You buy them. And how do you buy them? By staking hex. It's not really buying them. But when you stake hex, you make shares. And if you stake your hex for longer, you get more shares. And if you have larger hex, you get more shares. So that's it. The, the profit of the system is given to the people that stake hex. If you stake longer, you get more. If you stake uh, bigger, you get more. But the longer matters a lot more than the bigger. So... <clears throat>